In a previous video on sources of natural aeration, we went over the fact that natural sources of aeration are not dependable or optimal for the ecology of the pond. Flowing water or water with wind action and water with oxygen from photosynthesis are the two forms of natural aeration. To gain better control and predictability, mechanical aeration can be considered. There are several types with different mechanisms. Some are more decorative, some more efficient, some more aggressive. All aerate. It's best to think of them as different tools best suited for different applications. Mechanical aeration brings about many benefits to the pond ecology that we prefer and discourages the ecological conditions that we want to avoid. Frankly, the benefits of aeration sound too good to be true, but they've been proven out time and time again. Aeration helps avoid overproduction of algae that is a result of stagnation, increased surface and edge temperatures, and undiluted nutrients. Algae can trap water around the edges. The stagnant water heats up faster into higher temperatures. It also traps nutrients along the edge of the pond and keeps them from being diluted. This makes for problem areas in the pond. Aeration does not kill algae. You can see less algae in ponds with aeration because of cooler water temperatures, less available nutrients, and a stimulation of the bacterial populations in the pond that outcompete algae for available nutrients. Aeration reduces or reverses the seasonal buildup of organic sludge in the bottom of the pond. Aeration stimulates the digestion of organic sludge by bacteria. Most of this material is a carbon structure. Bacterial processes take a carbon molecule and attach two oxygen molecules to it to make CO2 or carbon dioxide. This can leave the pond as it is produced if the pond is mixed. The basic product for this process is oxygen. Aeration mixes the pond and increases the amount of available oxygen for the process. If supplemental bacteria are added to a pond, they will benefit greatly from mechanical aeration. Aeration eliminates foul odors that are most often the result of anaerobic bacteria that operate without oxygen. The byproducts are foul smelling and in some cases toxic. Aeration helps reduce mosquito production with increased water movement, fewer stagnant areas, and the support of a healthy fish population to consume larvae. There are many benefits to fish as well. Aerated water provides access to all the habitat and structure since oxygen is present deeper and temperature layers are mixed. Even in the deeper areas with adequate oxygen, structure is available for fish to concentrate near. Structure is extremely important to balance in bluegill bass systems and also concentrates fishing for anglers. Aerated ponds result in faster fish growth. When fish have plenty of oxygen, they feed readily. They consume three times as much oxygen when feeding. During non-lethal, low oxygen events, fish do not feed and do not gain weight. These events interrupt the growth rate of the fish over time. Recent research in catfish ponds in Mississippi confirmed a 40% difference in growth with higher levels of aeration in ponds, which supported higher oxygen levels. Fish are directly impacted by water chemistry and temperature. They must constantly adjust their metabolism to compensate for different pHs, oxygen levels, and temperature levels. A consistent, well-mixed environment reduces the amount of energy expended and reduces stress associated with changes in their environment during daily cycles. Aeration avoids partial or total fish kills from oxygen depletion. This can occur suddenly after years of successful growth. The crash of an algae bloom, a sudden mixing of the pond from a storm, chemical oxygen demand from sludge can all work to deplete the oxygen in a pond. The biggest fish die first, since they are the least able to withstand low oxygen events. Unfortunately, small, partial fish kills can give your fish population a haircut every few years and limit the size of fish that you can ultimately produce. Some things you may hear rumored in conversation or on the internet just aren't true. Big surprise. This applies to aeration as well. 
Aeration does not control pond weeds. What do I mean by weeds? Structured plants, also called vascular plants. Aeration has no effect on these. Water lilies may not do well if water is constantly splashing on them. Duckweed may be moved around or pushed to other areas of the pond, but that's about the extent of it. One thing that aeration can help with is the ability to treat your pond with herbicides or other chemicals. For whole pond treatments, the mixing action will help distribute the chemicals around the pond, increasing effectiveness and avoiding hot spots where chemicals are overly concentrated. It also allows you to treat heavily infested ponds more aggressively without the fear of depleting oxygen, which can occur from rapidly decaying plant material. There are several advantages to mechanical aeration for your pond or lake. Selecting the best aeration equipment for your pond and your goals for your pond will be covered in the next video.